Welcome to Limo's online instruction guide. Today, we will be assembling a solder connector from the Limo T-Series. The T-Series is a watertight push-pull connector from the Limo range. In this example, we will be assembling an elbow plug, also called the Anglissimo. The connector can be orientated during its assembly and enables eight positions for the cable exit. Download the cable instructions from our portal or request the detailed instructions from one of our sales offices. Make sure you have received all the components as listed and that you have prepared all your tools. Tweezers will come in handy during the soldering process. Assemble all the components on the cable, such as the collet nut and collet, cable gland, gasket and earthing cone. If you are using a bend relief, don't forget to slide that on first. Ethanol, also called ethyl alcohol, can be used to help slide components on the wire depending on the cable diameter. Strip the cable to the appropriate length. In our example, this was done with an automatic stripping machine that is not shown here. Please follow the assembly instructions. Stripping lengths are given for the outer jacket, shielding and individual wires. Depending on each of the eight positions for the cable exit, the stripping lengths may differ slightly and may require some fine tuning for the assembly. In case of a screen cable, fold the screen back over the extremity of the open cone and cut, if necessary, the excess of screen. Check that there's no remaining screen near the o-ring. Single wires may hinder the water tightness effect of the cable gland. Slide the elbow outlet onto the cable. Push the cable gland and collet against the earthing cone. Verify that the cable jacket is located under the gland. Locate the slot of the elbow outlet and align with the key of the collet. Finally, screw the collet nut with the appropriate tool and tighten to the maximum torque value of 2 Nm. Here we show how to adjust the stripping tool. In our example, this can be done with a watch screwdriver and an Allen key. Align the individual wire and cut them in order to pre-position them for the soldering process. Some inserts also have solder pins with stage pin position. In other words, the center pins are longer than the outer pins in order to help the soldering process. In this case, the stripping length may differ too. The last action is shown once again with a higher number of wires. Arrange the conductors according to the insulator marking and avoid twisting. Each insulator has a snail shaped marking. This snail marking is on the rear of the insulator. In some cases, it can be also found in addition on the front of the insulator. The contact that is surrounded by a half circle is pin number one. This is commonly the earth pin, but may be another pin depending on the design of your assembly. Please check carefully the snail shape marking, as it may differ from one connector type to another. Place the insulator in your soldering jig. Get ready to solder with your preheated solder iron. For leadless solder wire, the temperature setting should be around 380 degrees centigrade. This may differ according to the solder wire used. Start stripping the individual wires. This is where the tweezers become handy. Solder the first wire onto the solder bucket and repeat the action for the other wires. 
In this example, one could have added a small heat shrink on the individual wires before soldering. Control that your assembly has a general good aspect. Black wires and overheated parts should not be visible. Now comes the final assembly of the connector. Locate the slotted upper half of the split insert carrier over the shoulder and key on the insulator. Then align and press together the other half to form a complete cylinder. Push the insert subassembly into the plug housing, making sure that the key on the insert carrier goes into the keyway inside the shell and orientate the elbow outlet subassembly in one of the eight possible positions. Screw the retaining ring. With the appropriate tool, also listed on the assembly instructions, tighten the connector. The dimensions are marked on the tool in millimeters. A magnet holds the two tools together. The connector needs to be tightened in two locations. The collet nut and the retaining nut. The collet nut should be tightened with the help of the two tools or in case of the FSG by holding the connector in one hand. The retaining ring should be tightened to the maximum torque value of 1 Nm. Nemo also offers a wide range of torque wrenches under a part number starting with the letters DCD. The tool is visible at the end of the Unipole Multipole catalog.